How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sun, and welcome back to another episode of Stellaris. I'm sitting here on, uh, in, in my room at home again, recording more. I don't know why I went that specific, but uh, we're here recording, so yeah, let's do it. Um, last episode, we kind of just built up, settled our fifth planet, our last core planet, for that matter. And we are, they're all tropical, no Gaia's, actually. We haven't been very lucky with that. But uh, we, uh... Yeah, we also talked about the game a little bit and the state of the community in regards to their opinion on the game and maybe the differences. I, I would definitely say that I think I have a higher than most a higher opinion of the game than most people I've seen. So uh, it could just be something with, you know, the people who don't like it are the loudest or something like that. But at the same time, I don't know. I think it's a uh, I think most people kind of have a middling opinion on the game. I think I have a higher a high opinion of the game. So Either way, whatever. Who cares about that, right? I think we want to build a hydroponics farm. We're going to replace it later, but that's going to be good. So what What plant has the most population? I think it's eucalyptus, which has hardly any. Jeez. We've had quite a small amount of growth, relatively, I would say. We should... It's going to suppress it, but I don't really care. I think it's just good to get more food going. Get more growth, get more food. We're going to have to anyways, I'm pretty sure, on that planet at least. This one is doing okay. Broadleaf. Doing just fine. Solaria. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Construction complete. Let's do a basic mine here. Probably do a mineral processing plant in the neighboring tile. Um, what can we do to upgrade our... What is this? Power plant, yeah. Mining network. Research complete. Research complete. Construction. Koala. It definitely should tell you. One thing I saw is that you should definitely um, have something to tell you what building actually completed. That would be really nice and simple. Alright, so what do we have next? Gravitic, gravitic sensors, improved deflectors, or a physics lab one. Um, this one's cheap and quick and important, so I think we just do that real quick. We do have deflector shields now, which we will look at uh, when we uh, finished all of our other micromanaging stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, but uh, another thing is about the game. We talked the last episode about the strengths I think it has and the weaknesses I think it has. I think one of the greatest strengths is the mic is actually the micromanaging. I don't think there's anything wrong with micromanaging. In fact, I think it's a good thing in this game. They try to... One of the things I do think is a problem is that they limit you in what you can directly control. And the reason that sectors exist, right? Like, hear me out on this. The reason sectors exist is to make it easier for the players so they don't have to micromanage everything. There's no reason that the players shouldn't be able to micromanage everything. Because if you... There's, there's actual... Like, what I don't understand is there's penalties... For this, there's there's a if you go above the limit, there's penalties and there's no real reason for this. Like, all you're doing is if you don't have that is micromanaging more. What I think is um is that you should it should be optional. I think that you should have the ability to have sectors, but you should there shouldn't be this limit. There should not be this limit at all in the game. It should just not be a feature of the game, because that way, like. I, I mean, the sector should. They should be optional. But that way, you can basically just um, use sectors and if you have just too much to handle. Uh, but otherwise, it's really fun to micromanage. I think it's one of the things that Solaris is best. I think it would make the game... Uh, it, I think that would solve a lot of complaints people have about the mid to late game. Like, sectors are awful. That would solve that to a certain degree. Uh, although I do think the sector I should probably be better from what I've seen. But it would also make it so that you don't have this this uh, artificial limit that's just there to make it so basically that's saying oh we know that you're going to have trouble and have a problem with micromanaging all this stuff and you're not going to want to late game so we're basically going to force you to use these sectors instead of saying well you know we have a tool for you so you don't have to micromanage it because many people won't like that but if you do want to micromanage it you know you don't have to have a certain limit the limit adds nothing beyond that it doesn't really slow your expansion if, if they use sectors purposely to have bad AI so that they do that, that's just dumb anyways, you know? And not fair. No, they should, like, there should definitely, there's no reason for it. 
the sector limit, I think, is a useless... It, that's one of the... Compl that's actually probably my biggest complaint with the game, honestly. It's basically just an artificial way of saying... Of preventing the player from, uh... From expanding and stuff. Um... And it doesn't even make any sense. It's the feature is there to supposedly help the player micromanage easier and not have to micromanage. But this is just an artificial way of forcing them to do that. What if the person wants to micromanage more? There's nothing wrong with that, right? They're just making making more work for the player, but in a good way. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I might be crazy. Tell me if you think I'm wrong, and I will. I will. You know. I'll admit that I'm wrong because if the majority of people don't agree with me then whatever but then I guess I'm wrong because like that's the thing I, I think you know give the people what they want that's kind of what I think frontier clinic is really good this kind of has the same effect as any frontier clinic but here's the thing the reason I'm thinking we're uh, let's talk about the game for a sec we're gonna do this by the way uh, the reason I think that we're gonna settle the desert world fairly soon is just because it's another planet and it's um Late game, I th mid to late game, I think that's going to be 100% habitability anyway. It's just because of other edicts and stuff. Like that. By the way, we should check that edicts out. We have way too many influence points. Uh, let's go down a speed. But but yeah, I think that the the core planet thing is a basically a way of them forcing the, them you to use a thing that really, if it if sectors if if they what am I trying to say? It's forcing you to use sectors when. If they didn't force you to use sectors and allowed you to have the choice to micromanage or not, I don't think it would give any players an advantage or a disadvantage. It might just make it more fun for some people and keep it the same for the other people who have already liked the sectors, you know? So I don't understand that function, you know? Why is there a limit? Come on. It's it's dumb. It doesn't add anything to the game. It doesn't really take it away anything if you take it out. It doesn't, it doesn't limit growth even. Right now, it doesn't. And it doesn't really, um, except for the dumb AI, which shouldn't be a thing in the first place. Ideally, it wouldn't limit your growth at all. It just make it easier for the player, ease of access. What if the person doesn't want that? You know, what if they want to have the hard part of the micromanaging? Because that's the fun part. In my opinion, it is. This is pretty crap. Fusion reactors are decent, but hyperlane mapping can be really good. But. I don't know, let's go for this. I don't think hyperlane mapping is that good, especially because the, the people next to us, can we see what they are? Hmm. Continental preference. Well, I don't know. But that was, that's my thoughts on the game. Like, why is this limited to this? And there's certain government forms that actually give you more limits which makes it seem that they're like saying oh it's something that limits your growth so only you have to specialize if you want to have more of it what does it do to limit your growth in the ideal world where sectors are actually what do what they're supposed to do you know what is what is that what do they do what is what is their point of the limit and does it actually add anything couldn't you just have the couldn't you just have the sectors be there and be optional in the first place that would make it like so much better in my opinion i think that would be like that would probably improve many people's opinions of the game by like a whole point on a 10 point scale probably like why do you have this artificial limit it adds nothing it really affects nothing it's just there to annoy the player you know why are you annoying the player the paradox i i don't think they meant to do it obviously i'm, I'm teasing with that when i say that but that is one thing you know I, I love this game, as I've already said, and that's why I like to criticize it, as do many people. Many people criticize games that they love, and I'm I'm no different. But I, I have enjoyed my time in this game. Oh, hey, we have a five population. We can do planetary administration. We'll definitely do that. It gets rid of some of our influence points. I think we might want to do a... Um, let's do, like, see, what, what are we putting out the most of? Minerals, energy, a good bit of every science... We're going to have max population in, in a way where I think we're going to pretty much be min-maxed fairly well. Uh, to have just, uh, you know, equilibrium with food, which is what you want. Uh, oh, yeah, and we're researching. Uh, we have assistance to research. That's so good that you can do that now. Can we have multiple ships do that at one time? Oh, no, no, don't leave. Don't leave. Uh, I guess come back to Broadleaf. 
either way, uh, let's see what we can do in our capital. So we're making a good bit of science, edict list. This is nice that you can see this while you look at edicts. We, we have this active right now. Wow, didn't realize that. Infrastructure projects could be good. Eh, probably not that good, actually, honestly. Migration and traction, we don't really need that. Land of Opportunity is a really good one, actually, because I've heard you can just, you know, flood new worlds um, with population from your old worlds, and it's very helpful because that way you kind of flood them in, get them going faster, and then your other worlds have their farms working constantly to produce new pops, so you're getting twice the amount of growth, essentially. C kind of, because... Like, for instance, basically what I mean is if we're at cap, we're not at cap yet. Once we're at cap uh, in one pop, then our farms are sitting there doing nothing. They serve no purpose. We're getting no growth, um, which is one thing. I wish they were to be an ability to send extra food to other planets, but there's not. Um, but that would be interesting uh, to see added. But, like, yeah, you have this. You know, you have this here. Um, guarantee independence. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, but, yeah, if you had... Uh, if you had that happen, you could uh, you get twice the growth, essentially. Your farms aren't being wasted. So that is something I've heard is really good. We might do that once our some of our other ones get uh, get more population, because otherwise I think it just it just draws from everywhere. Ethics divergence, nah. Food, nah, it's not very good. Energy credits, we're down a little bit, so eh, we could do that. Well, let's see, what about other planets? Seven population, six population, two population, two population. So eucalyptus was our second one. It's still our second most populated as well. Shouldn't, shouldn't be surprising, I suppose. We, have plan we do have planetary administration, which is good. It's so good that it gives uh, more output. You know, that's probably a good idea. Get some more science started here. Why don't we... Do, let's do an edict here, like something like that. Why not? Get it, you know, get it growing a lot faster, quite a bit faster, actually. Should grow fairly nicely. Um, beyond that, what else do we want to do? Man, time flies when you play this game. Research complete. Research complete. Alright, we got fusion reactors. We're gonna have to do some ship upgrades in a little bit. Cold fusion reactor is pretty good. Warp drive 2. We definitely need to do that so we can start exploring uh, outside of our arm of the galaxy. I think that would allow us to get down here, get over here. Hopefully there's at least one colonizable planet over here. Then we can, you know, use the resources of the other two systems. Hopefully we'll be able to jump to here. I think it's more likely that we jump to here. But once you get into there, then you can probably jump anywhere from there, possibly. What we should do. What was that? Is that a new planet? Yeah, they're they. These guys are very expansionist. Wow, they are ruthless capitalists. They are also very militarist, which is why I kind of don't like the fact that they're right next to me. Because we are we are material materialist, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of scary. Let's do star charts. Yeah, they want to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's good. That's good. We got a lot of uh, a lot of knowledge. Ocean world. All right, so this is the good thing. There's not many habitable planets for us, so it's it's kind of okay that we aren't able to get around them. There wouldn't have been much benefit. I really want the Batharian is really good. It's a very good resource. Kind of wish that we could make it over there, but we could actually kind of jump through them, I think. Constructing is finishing. We're making quite a bit of influence. Um, Looks like there's no one else that they found. I don't remember how many AI we had. There's got to be someone in there, right? Maybe not. You know, who knows? Who knows? Frontier Clinic will be done soon. Destroyers will be done soon. That's very good. Um, Eucalyptus, I think we're definitely going to have a spaceport in, because that's going to be kind of like the border to this other arm. Koala Soul is obviously our capital. Eventually, we're going to have, you know, spaceports. There's no question. You want them in every system. They're defense systems. They, they add benefits. You get observatories and stuff, especially in your four planets. But, like, you know, 
I'm just trying to. I'm talking about in the near future where we're gonna build it. I I say, I say we go ahead and build one now. You've kind of earned it. So, projectile defense is not very good. At, honestly, I don't really like projectiles. I like missiles the best out of what I've seen. Lasers are okay. I don't like projectiles. I don't know if I'm the only one, but we'll see. We'll build a space a space uh space spaceship spaceport there. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. We can do Corvette assembly yards. I honestly think those aren't very good. They, I don't know. I don't know. They're they're okay. You'd probably you'd almost definitely earn back what you built. It's more just the slot there. We have two researches complete. Ah yes, they complete at the same time. Frontier world, ocean world being able to colonize, that's really good. But a military academy is oh no no, never mind. I'm thinking of someone else. Navy Academy is, is good. Military Academy is pretty bad. I don't know. I I haven't even actually seen Army Combat yet. I've seen Naval Combat plenty, but Army Combat, no. By the way, my beliefs on these special projects is that I never research them. Normally, you get enough from debris that you actually never even have to research them. You just won't get them right away. But I think that's perfectly fine. Um, This is really good. But Ocean World, just the ability to colonize more... I think that's pretty good, especially because I believe we have some ocean worlds near us. Time here. Ocean, yeah, ocean world. I don't know why we got ocean before continental. I thought it went in like sort of a piecemeal thing where eventually you start with the ones closer to you. Oh, now this is interesting. So we got uh, destroyers, and we can get destroyer assembly rods. We don't really need it. Uh, but we also have space torpedoes. Torpedoes, I know, are, are very good. They're really good damage, really long range. Uh, the thing is, they're hard countered by point defense, but I think they're still very good. I think that we're going to prioritize that. And, and beyond that, it's just diversity. Diversifying our weapons, you know, I think that's pretty important. We're making a lot of minerals now. Wow. We're making a lot of minerals. So, what we're going to do is, I think... We're not making a lot of science here. You know, we can fix that. Why aren't we why haven't we done this before? I'm dumb, that's why. You're working on that. We don't have a lot of science, honestly. This one I think we're gonna be able to sustain this, so we might just put more Yeah, we should be able to. Yeah, yeah. Negative income. Who cares? Am I right? Okay. I don't know, man. Definitely want to upgrade all of these things. Get you growing faster. Broadleaf, you can't yet. Thea is doing perfectly fine, but can't yet. Uh, let's go to Eucalyptus. We need more power. My country is the powerhouse of the cell, right? Memes. Um, do we have any planets that we're going to be able to... Uh, what about this one? That's an interesting question. Tell you what, let's go, uh, let's go explore in here real quick. I'm supposed to end this video soon, but that's okay. I'm not going to be able to record another one after this, so I'm just going to spend as much time as I can. Oh gosh, they're so strong. Wow. Jeez. You jerks. What if we rivaled them? Hmm, that'd be interesting. They have, some, they have such good resources, man. Okay, um, let's go up to the fastest speed. We will start looking at, uh... Well, we def for one, we definitely need to upgrade that right away. We also definitely need to worry about our... Our, uh, resource production, our energy production. It's looking pretty bad. Ah, here's one that we could do. I don't like taking... Well, here, you're going there anyways. If you're going to be going there anyways, 
tell you what, instead, instead, let's do a power hub there, move you there. We also need to start building frontier clinics, which we'll definitely do. I just, I need to get my power situation under control. They're moving there. Let's look at Solaria. How about Eucalyptus, actually? Yeah, we're gonna need to do something. You're gonna be building there. Yes, good. Um, power Hub. We should be okay. Alright, let's see. Are there still enemies here? Still hostiles? Oh, yeah, there are. Alright, you know what? Go back home. Eh, go back to go back to your home world. Go home. I wonder if these guys would uh No. Friendly attitude, opinion, non aggression pact. They still don't really want to. We're materialist, but we are also individualist. <laughs> Fanatic materialist and individualist. So we kinda of diverge from them a little bit, but we we have more in common than we have apart. We don't have any like opposing beliefs. Next election is in 40 years. 57. Okay. This is such good. It's so good that you get these sort of modifiers. I love them. Man, our energy is not looking good. This is in our borders now. Can't really sustain that growth though. Come on. There were hostels here before. I don't think there are now though, it doesn't look like. Let's see if it, ah, I'm repositioning. That was not a fart. I know it sounded like it. You have to believe me on that. Tell you what, do we have any governing ethics we could do? One a month for all these, right? So that seems pretty bad. We could do all three of the research ones. <laughs> Honestly, that might be a good idea. Why not? It doesn't cost anything at the beginning, which is really nice. So, like, we can just, you know. What do we have here? Static war economy. That's okay, it seems, I think. Prohibited slavery, prohibited purge. That seems okay. Limited, limited bombardment. It seems okay. Native interference unrestricted. I like that. Native enlightenment allowed. I like that. That's always fun to do. I want to mess with that. I haven't really had much time to mess with it. Free migration is okay. Resettlement is prohibited. Oh, gosh darn it. We can't. I kind of wish I could. Yeah, elitism. Sounds about right. We're on oligarchy. Peaceful. That's so cool. I didn't realize there was a whole thing dedicated to first contact protocol there's no one here now all right go survey this system we need more energy credits and there might be some in over here of course here's the thing we put a frontier outpost here we would probably get this and this chunk of these systems along with it is that worth it that's two science that's 16 minerals Five energy credits minus like two for the upkeep of the station minus one I think for the upkeep of in influence points but like look at our influence points we have so many because there's no one around us we can always delete it cost 50 right off the bat I'm gonna do it just because why not you know that might not be a good like oh 200 influence points holy cow I thought it was 50 that's okay. We like we have so many. It's okay. Uh, ocean world there. Still thinking we want to colonize there. I'm pretty sure of it. We want to wait a little bit though. We just don't. We don't have the energy to sustain it. Sure, do it. 
we also we want to build a frontier clinic somewhere. Somewhere here. Where? I don't know. Somewhere, definitely. Let's put you on engineering. I think we need more engineering. Engineering seems to be a pretty important branch. Tree. I don't know. Hmm. That is our planetary administration, right? So we do get bonuses for this sort of thing. Where is the first in the queue? What is currently building? That yeah, should be first priority. Jeez. Unemployment, really. Ah, yes, yes. All right, so let's look at this. Yeah, we're still making enough food. That's really good. So we're, if we're making enough food then, we definitely should build a well, we could build, I, I suppose, this is the thing, we could build a... You're not, you're not even improved. Gosh darn it, man, I'm playing so subpar with my research management, or resource management, research management. I don't know, I think I'm doing fine with that. Do we already have a power hub? I, I, I don't remember the buildings. Power plant. Power plant. I don't. Power hub. Okay, we do have a power hub, which is good. So I think we might. We're definitely gonna build a power plant here. For here, I think we build science. I think it's gonna be more important. <clears throat> more important. Long run. Either way, I do need to end this video here. I, I always get so into this game. It's it's, it's so fun. Uh, so anyways, though, I'm, I'm having a great time with the series so far. Thank you guys for watching again. Uh, I think this is episode 7. A whole week has passed since the game has come out. Uh, either way, thank you guys for uh, watching so far. Leave a like and subscribe for more if you did enjoy this. Uh, it, it helps out a lot. Like It, it really does. Uh, just with my confidence and you know, the channel. Running the channel makes it feel a lot better when I uh, get a lot of interaction with you guys and stuff. So thank you guys. Um, it means a lot to me. And uh, until next time, uh, we'll come back next time. Probably do some more, you know, exploration, building a frontier outpost, possibly building some more, doing ship designs. Definitely, we need to update our ships. Uh, either way, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, goodbye.